Hi, my name is Scott Kovacs, and I am a NetApp Technical Marketing Engineer for FlexPod. In this video, I will demonstrate how to license and configure FabricPool on your ONTAP storage to begin tiering infrequently accessed data to the cloud. I'll begin with a brief overview of FabricPool and assumptions before I begin. FabricPool is a licensed tiering feature of ONTAP that enables policy-based data movement depending on whether or not data is frequently accessed. ONTAP uses an all-flash SSD aggregate as a performance tier and an object store in a public cloud service as a capacity tier. For this demonstration, I am using Amazon AWS S3 as the capacity tier. FabricPool requires intercluster lifts to provide connectivity to the public cloud. This video assumes the required intercluster lifts have been created and connectivity to the public internet has been established and tested. Refer to NetApp Technical Report TR-4801 titled FlexPod with FabricPool for additional information on the requirements and best practices for intercluster lifts. Before starting, be sure to download the FabricPool license file from the NetApp support website. A license is required whether using the complementary 10 terabytes included with your AFF controllers or a capacity license was purchased from NetApp. I'll begin by logging into System Manager as the admin user. However, another user with privileges to license and configure ONTAP features may be used. Begin by locating the configuration applet in the navigation bar on the left side of the home page. Expand the cluster branch and then licenses. Choose the packages tab and select add. Then navigate to the directory where your fabric pool license is saved and add the license to the cluster. Let's explore the licensing tab in more detail before we move on. If you select the details tab at the top of the page, you can view the total licensed and used capacity of the fabric pool feature from this tab. It's also useful to note new storage controller purchases come with a 10 terabyte license to get started with fabric pool at no additional charge. Additional capacity can be purchased in one terabyte increments as needed. Now let's move on and create the object store in Amazon AWS S3. Log on to the AWS Management Console and navigate to the Services menu at the top left of the page. Choose S3 under the Storage heading. Next, select Create Bucket to create a new S3 storage bucket. Name the S3 bucket with a unique DNS compliant name. Select the region to create the bucket in and choose Create in the lower left corner of the window. Return to System Manager to add the cloud tier. Choose Storage, Aggregates and Disks, then Cloud Tiers from the navigation bar on the left. Choose Add and select Amazon S3 from the list of object store providers. Create a descriptive name for the cloud tier and enter it into the name field. Next, enter the access key ID and the associated secret key for your AWS account. Lastly, in the container name field, enter the name of the target S3 bucket created in a previous step and click Save to complete the cloud tier configuration. Review the details for the cloud tier and ensure the configuration is correct. Now we can attach the aggregate to the cloud tier. From the cloud tier window, choose Attach Aggregates from within the Amazon S3 cloud tier that was just created to connect an existing aggregate. Choose the aggregate to attach to the cloud tier by selecting or deselecting aggregates from the list. If the aggregate contains volumes, you can also change the tiering policy applied to the containing volume or volumes from the Change Volume Tiering Policies optional section below. When you have chosen the aggregates to attach, click Save. Please note, attaching a cloud tier to an aggregate is a permanent action. A cloud tier cannot be unattached from an aggregate without first destroying the aggregate. Click OK at the warning message 
if you wish to continue with attaching the aggregate to the cloud tier. Otherwise, click Cancel and choose another aggregate. When complete, review the cloud tier details. Adding a new volume to a Fabric Pool aggregate in System Manager requires one additional step within the Create Volume wizard. When creating a new volume, notice the Fabric Pool aggregate recently attached to the cloud tier is not listed in the Select Aggregate window by default. To include a Fabric Pool aggregate as a candidate when creating a new volume, enable the Fabric Pool slider located under the Name field in the wizard. Then select the Choose button to browse for the desired aggregate. After selecting an aggregate, locate the section labeled Tiering Policy. Here you can modify the volume tiering policy if you desire. Modify any additional settings for the volume and select Create to close the wizard and create the volume. The volume tiering policy can also be changed from the Volumes applet in the navigation bar. Choose Volumes to load the list of volumes for the SVM. Select the row for the volume you wish to change the tiering policy for and choose More Actions from the menu bar. Select Change Volume Tiering Policy to modify the policy and save the changes. Please note, be familiar with how each tiering policy behaves before applying it to the volume. Choosing a tiering policy, such as the All Tiering Policy, for a non-archive volume could cause performance issues on the storage and additional costs to be incurred with the cloud provider due to data being frequently read back from the cloud tier. Congratulations! You've now configured Fabric Pool and can begin tiering infrequently accessed and archived data to the cloud. Fabric Pool allows you to add increased efficiency to the performance tier by freeing premium all flash storage for more of your business critical workloads. To find out more about Fabric Pool on FlexPod, read Technical Report TR4801 titled FlexPod with Fabric Pool and Fabric Pool Best Practices TR4598, both available at netapp.com. Thank you for watching.